Anyway, uh, yeah, I think we want to go with, so we want 2x experience, so seeds, wrinklers, and lapses. Lapses are pretty annoying. Uh, young, how is our regent doing? Uh, that's not what we want. Heroes, regency. So we're 50 years old? Hmm. Level six female Caberjack. That's pretty good. Or a newborn. Ba Let's get the baby girl. Actually, I think this is probably better. Okay, so we've got White Art. Uh, let's bring uh, Anton and Ty. I think. Is there anyone else? Nope. So we're bringing the team. Anton, we're gonna give you this, and let's give you extra potions. You're not particularly good, are you? Hawkeye and low fertility, so you're not gonna be having babies. So, yeah, let's give you Spirit of the Dark Falcon. And a health potion. Sounds good. And then uh, Ty. Yeah, Ty's quite old, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, let's just give the health potions. I don't see a benefit to not doing that. So we have several relics now, though. That's kind of good. That's kind of cool. I hadn't seen that before. So on Ocean Oceana's, um, on her relic, there's actually this loop that uh, holds, hangs onto it. That's kind of cool. I like that. Neat little effect. It's a fine day for battle, all things considered. Every day is a fine day for battle. Do you think it'd be a viable strategy would be to adopt babies for the last 30 years so you have as many relatives as possible for the vinyl battle? Um, that doesn't work because, I mean, uh, I could see if you had an old family, that would be useful. The problem is, as far as I know, it's not relatives, but it's ancestors. And so if you adopt, you know, five more babies year 270 and they're all 30 or whatever by the time the final battle hits, um, you really only add one generation. I mean, don't get me wrong, like having another generation potentially is good if you're, if you just install your last people, but, um, I don't know. I, I don't know that it's, I, I think it's probably better for you instead to make sure you research like the armor boost or, you know, get a different tech or get a new arm, like a new armor level for one of your classes. I think all of those would probably have better priority. Yeah. Cause with the final battle, it's your ancestors, not necessarily your relatives as far as I know. Okay, let's just, uh, let's see if we can get this guy. I still can't believe they blew up my Sage Rite skill. It's so stupid. Ugh. And, like, the other thing that's frustrating about that to me is that it makes me want to turn, like, it want, makes me want to experiment less with the game because I know that they put in ridiculous, like, ridiculous um, results like that in the game. Right? Like, it makes me want to take the conservative, boring options in the future rather than, like, the fun, like, oh, yeah, turn the thing on. Like, that sounds like fun. And so I just, I don't know. That kind of stuff kind of bugs me. It's like, yes, you're supposed to be playing the game. I understand you're supposed to be having fun, but I think that, uh, yeah, I think that just, it's not, I think that making it more, yeah. I mean, I, I think, I think that building up a particular family and giving them extra, um, extra characters is definitely worth it, potentially. Just, uh, for the final battle, I just, I don't know that it is. And you're drunk again, Michael. Oh my gosh. What's your problem, Michael? Man, killing me here. I'm not going to give you any XP. Bothadir. So the Oak Splitter. So this thing, is, this thing is a beast. The one that we need to work on is the Harvester. So this is the new one. Let's go ahead and crush this Joker. Okay, well, we stunned our buddy. That's good to know. And now let's go ahead and sneak out. Okay, so we've got a bulwark and some other dudes. Yeah, don't worry about it, Skull Guy. It's not a big deal either way. Let's get Oceana up there. I think that we can get a nice throw. Yeah, there's a chance. We, there's a pretty good chance we'd miss, but even if we miss, we'll hit somebody. Yeah, I don't know. I guess. Yeah, I hate that kind of stuff. <laughs> 
shell defense activated. Let's go ahead and sneak back. And then Bothadir, we're going to move you up to the side. I'm glad that we did get the extra relic, though. I was sad we lost Emma, though, because she had good stats. A harvester. We must harvest the, the bulwark. Let's see what we got. Yeah, I think that one thing that I would really like in this is... Hey, Jim Cake, how are you doing today? I kind of wish that instead... Um, I guess I wish the game gave you an option and would give you feedback about how good your op like your choice was. So, for instance, like with the, the random events, it says, Oh, you know, there's been a feud between these two families and you, you have to choose, you know, two of the characters to send on the pilgrimage. And, like, based on which characters you choose... It would say, like, oh, okay, if you choose, like, high-ranking members of the family, they're more likely to be like, oh, yeah, okay, we understand that this is this is petty. Whereas if you choose low-ranking members of the family, you know, like the younger ones that are lower level, then... Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know if Agent's around and if he's doing a restream Doomcake at a lower resolution. I guess I feel like something like that would be better. Or a character says, oh, we need a relic for this special experiment we're doing. Skipping, skipping and buffering through everything. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not, again, I'm not sure if Agent is doing a restream. I don't think that he is. Uh, yeah, doesn't say that he is. I mean, it, so Doomkick, are you normally able, able to watch like um, seven, you know, seven twenty p videos on like YouTube or something, or on other Twitch channels? Let's go ahead and run up here with that relic. And then Anton, we're gonna bring you up as well. You know, let's let's sw swing around this other side. I, I don't want to get caught up on this, these narrow areas with bulwarks shooting at us. Okay, we're ready to go. Ready to ambush the enemy. Oh, hey. Hi, guy. Hmm. So let's go ahead and give Ty the first attack. Because you have the Harvester Relic. Yeah, I agree. And that's that's one of those things where it's... Uh, I, I agree, Skull. Hey, AJ, how are you doing today? Yeah, I like it. I, I do like this game a lot. I just I wish that there were there were a few things like like I think the events in particular could have been fleshed out to make them more interesting and just less like oh you know you congratulations you lost a relic <laughs> so I do agree, though. I think it's a pretty good game. Especially given just, you know, again, the, the size and scope of the team and the budget. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna charge in. Uh, uh, here maybe? Oh, this is the drunk guy. Yeah, we can send the drunk in first. Nope. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's go in. We'll move in a little bit. We've got a nice tight grouping. 
You prefer it less? Yeah. That's probably the issue then. Okay, let's bring Ty up and we'll get Harvester some uh, some action here. I think this will be a pretty solid hit. Yeah. Oh dang it, we got stunned. That was stupid. Uh-oh, this is going to be a painful turn. Because <laughs> we're going to get hit. Well, a lot of guys are going to get hit. Hopefully he won't shoot down the line. I don't think he can. Could probably hit a couple guys, maybe. Yeah, it's not bad. Are you watching on your phone again or on your computer? There it is. Mr. Pancakes is back. Have a good dinner, Doomcake. Yeah, sorry the stream's running so poorly for you. Okay. You got a rupture, another bulwark. Uh, yeah, the bulwarks are, are a problem with alchemists simply because it takes a couple or three turns to kill them usually. Unless you get extremely lucky with a... Uh, Drunk guy, man. Unless you get extremely lucky with a hit. Um, yeah, we're out of things. We could still slash potentially, but that's kind of a bummer. Yeah, how are you doing today, AJ? Guess we still got this guy. Let's go ahead and move to here, maybe. I'm not sure if we can... Um... Yeah, let's see if we can get some damage on him this turn. It's not great, but... Hmm. Let's move Anton up. I really want to know what else is out there. I think it's probably the truth. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and just... Yay! Health potion. Ah, it's coming. It's coming for us. Oh, hey, we got a new we got a new level. Um, throw items or uh, Ty, you have the relics. Let's go with the acid solution. I think that'll help. And I think... Yeah, I take a slash at this guy. Okay, he's gonna melt. Unfortunately, we can't get away. Okay, that's alright. We can take a hit. Anton, I'm gonna shift you on over. And have you... 25? That's okay. Let's do this instead, though. Ooh, no. That means there's a 1 in 5. There's, yeah, not a great chance that we'd explode. This should be good, because I think that means I can get extra damage on this guy here. Let's hide around the corner. Yeah, so there's the other one is hiding right. Where is he? He's hiding right along here. And our drunkard is bringing up the rear. Uh, let's go ahead and go here. This is gonna hurt. Yeah, so even with the highest level alchemist armor, we still take quite a bit of damage from these guys. Anton, 
Who has the thing? Oak Splitter? Oh, you've got the other one. Ah, oh, we're out of range still. What? Oh, we should have attacked from the opposite side. Okay, let's have Oceana. Um, let's have you do this. Slash? No, it's too dangerous. Yeah, I think melee attacks are too, uh, it's just, it's too risky against Bulwarks in general. Okay, um... Anton, I'm gonna have you run back to here and then heal up. I use your heal potion. Okay, looks good. And then, uh, ooh. Mr. Pancakes. We're gonna have you run all the way up. We're gonna be crazy with you. And similar with Bothadir, we just we need to be able to uh, get in position for the next turn. Whew. I think Bulwarks are one of the trickier enemies to deal with in this game. There's some enemies that can kill you faster, that are more annoying, like lapses are pretty annoying, but you, can, you know, they're not that bad. But Bulwarks, it's just, the problem is you can't kill them fast, right? You can't kill them quickly, usually. And so, it just makes it so that there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of room for error when you're dealing with Bulwarks. Especially because they can hit multiple enemies multiple, uh, many of your dudes the same turn. Okay, we've got the acid on him, so that'll be good. And I think, uh, you guys just don't die. This is the, the goal for you. Let's just have you peek around this corner. Okay, Pancakes, we're gonna put you up there just to hit him. I don't know, will it put more acid on him? I don't know that it stacks. I don't think it does. I like this. I think we're gonna. I feel like we're in a good spot. Uh, I'm gonna move out to here and do this. Oops, nope. Let's just throw our last health potion over here. Now I don't think anyone can get one shot or killed in a single turn, so I think that's fine. Let's just end the turn. And we're in kind of a weird pattern, so I don't think we can kill us hit more than one guy. Maybe he can get these two guys if he moves. He's got to hit my other guy first, though. Haha. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh-oh. Did not see that guy. Alright. Yeah, so the issue with Bulwarks is that it often takes three to four turns to kill them, and so, or, you know, two or three turns, maybe. Uh, yeah, let's just do a short one. Okay, we're gonna have to finish this guy off with the acid, I think, if we can. Who has flasks left? Whiteheart? They're all Whitehearts. This is helpless. Oh my gosh, there's another one. Uh, are you kidding me? Oh, this is bad. We could take a lot of damage this turn. Yeah, so we need to finish off this one, and if possible, we could even get damage on this other one. I just I don't think we can throw far enough. Huh? Huh? It's not bad. I'll try. Nice throw. Good job. It's yeah. It's important to get damage on bulwarks every turn that you can because of that reason. Uh, let's see. Do we? Who has acid? Is it you? Do you have acid? Pancakes. You do have acid. Okay. So you could slash this guy and then not worry about it. Um, yeah, let's do that. Okay, so he's covered in acid now, which is handy. And now I think... I definitely... I think I want to go here. The reason why is... I don't care about the damage. I mean, the one point of damage is, like, who cares? But the main thing is that now, next turn, he should be able to throw at this other one if possible. And so let's go ahead and move Bothadir up. And we just... We might have to use another potion here on somebody. We'll see. So this guy's, you know, this other guy's gonna die. But, uh... Othadir? How far can you throw? That's that's a waste. Let's not save the flask. Or let's not waste it. Okay, so we got this guy. Cool. So this is our next target. 
But unfortunately, we also have this other dude to worry about. Whew, ninja skills. I should have attacked from the opposite angle. That was a huge mistake. 15? Are you kidding? What? What? Really? 15? Oh my gosh. Okay, well, you better heal up. That was nuts. And you, uh, you don't have your free throw up yet, unfortunately. Let's see here. You already don't, you don't have a free throw either. You have the oak splitter, though, so there's a reasonable chance you could crush one of these guys. But you're out of potions, anyway. Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna do the safer play, I think. Yeah. And the reason why I think this is a safer play, because if you go up and you melee attack one of these guys and you get a glancing blow, it does one damage, which is worse than missing, because then they have their shield up. And so then it's just, it's not, not pretty either way. Okay, looks good. So he's at seven. Uh, if we get the pancakes, we already used you. Mm. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and pull you back to here. And then let's go ahead and do a heal from here. Yeah. I can't believe I did 15 damage to him. That was nuts. Uh, we don't care about that damage at all. Although I do care about not lining up my guys. Let's go. I don't think he can reach us this turn. L luckily, these guys have pretty low accuracy, it seems like, but their damage is nuts. Okay, Ty, you have the Harvester. Mm, we'll give you... Yeah, this is fine, because even if you miss... Yeah, you, you should be fine. Okay, get some experience on that Relic weapon. And then I think just fall back now. As far as I know, this might be the last rupture on the map. Let's see. Ah, what's he doing? That cheeky little guy. There it is. End of the map. Oh, so more enemies. No. Okay. Well, how are we doing? So we're out of healing potions. <laughs> the bulwarks really miss every shot. They don't seem to have eyes, yeah. The problem is when they hit you, it hurts, and it pierces your soldiers, and so if you have multiple guys lined up, it'll uh, it'll go right through them. Echo location, like dolphins. Yeah, I can see that working for them. Okay. Yeah, they missed a lot of shots, which is good for us. They're like dolphins, except they shoot green lasers and that pierce through your guys. Oh, oh, hey, hello. Here's another one. Don't know where he got off or where he came from, but uh, we're getting him. Yeah, the bulwarks are one of the most, one of the, again, one of the most dangerous uh, ones. One of the most dangerous enemies, in my opinion, in the game. Mostly because you can't, the thing is, you can't alpha strike them down like you can with pretty much every other enemy. Like a submarine? Are you kidding? Whoa, 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 whoa. Double? Double your pleasure, double your fun? Double mint gum. Um, we are not... We are going to hide. There are two right there. I did not notice that, and I don't know how. Hide behind the giant faces, people. Okay, we need to get you over there. At least I took some... Like a submarine, Mr. Wayne. Somehow... Oh, come on! Oh, uh, uh, I'm so scared. Uh, 
10 damage, man. That's with the great, the, with the best armor in the game. It's 10 damage. Okay, Bothadir, I think we're gonna have to back you out. Let's see, is there anyone else that we would like to level up more? Uh, the Oak Splitter's good, but it's leveled up, so I think, where's the Harvester? It's way out there. We can't even reach any of these guys. Free throw for 28. It's not bad. Let's do Anton though, maybe. I think he needs a level. 27. That's a little bit more dangerous. That's really bad. Okay, let's have Oshanna. This is I guess we get one more kill with her though, so that's okay. Wait, does she not have the acid? I thought she did. She, she doesn't have the acid. Shoot. Oh, this guy has the acid. That's right. Well, that doesn't help us. <laughs> so, okay, we're going to run down here and uh, do this. Oh, man, that's so good. That's so not good. Okay, that might have been a mistake. Who do we have left? So he can't do anything useful. Uh, this is going to be painful. Uh, da, 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 da. Now we want to put you... We're gonna put you on the far side, I think here. Isn't that when they're talking about the phones? The Dark Knight reference? Like the echo location stuff? Which doesn't make any sense at all. I mean I understand like yeah, whatever. It's a very weird moment in the movie. Okay, well hopefully that's the last of them. Yes. Drinks are on me tonight. If I could buy drinks, and if you could drink them. Okay. Well, that's not bad. We got some. We got a bunch of Caden skills, especially a lot on Ty. We got nine. Uh, let's see here. Sixteen kills. Hmm. Acid or throw item? I think acid. Hmm. Oh man. Tom. One here. Yeah. Rescued orphan! Yay, babies! Sure. So we picked up uh, Jeanan Whiteheart, a brutalist who's puny and impressionable. But honestly, at this point, it's all about warm bodies. Not the movie, just like having warm bodies in, in different places. Ty! Oh no, Ty has died! Right. See, Michael, you're a reveler. I don't trust you with the relic. Um, let's go ahead and give it to Bothadir. I don't see him being a. I don't see him being a particularly good character. So we're gonna do that. Yeah. So what do you think, Agent? Shall we play some Dark Souls? Part. Oh no, Androx Chilton, partner of Regent Katrin Whiteheart, has died. I think she's 50 now. Yeah, she's 52. Slow, young at heart, faint-hearted, optimistic. Jason Barr. Insightful, alert, impressionable, kingmaker, nervous. Nervous is bad. I'd rather have brainy, hearty. Yeah, let's, let's marry in Rion instead. Okay, we got this. More babies, please. How many babies do we have? Four more coming of age? It's not bad, but not amazing either. Uh. Who did we lose? Oh, we lost one of the other randoms. Okay. That's okay. We can lose random characters as long as we don't lose white hearts. That's the key. And I like that we got a couple new babies out of this, uh, out of this deal. We got Drew Whiteheart. Who's brainy, clumsy, and a slow learner. That's not amazing. And Jure, who has no personality whatsoever. Okay. Luckily, though, unfortunately, he's low level, Rion, but uh, I think that'll be okay. Mia is kicking butt in the Crucible, too. I think she's been there for 50 years. The Bulwark Bone Shell study is finished. We made some useful discoveries in dampening impacts and have already made improvements to every hero's armor. Okay. 
Yeah, so it's gonna take me 30 years to build the next Sage Raid field. I mean, it's just ridiculous. I don't think it's worth it. I don't know if there's anything else that I want to do, but I don't think that that's worth it. The recruitment boost is okay. Recruit new heroes I need to save for later. Um, let me think about this. Do I? How are we doing on age here? I think we're 50s. Yeah, so Katrin's quite old, unfortunately. So Katrin's old, but uh, yeah, I don't know. So she's, who's gonna be the heir though? This is the question. This is an important question. Who is going to be the heir of Brineholm? So let's see. We have uh, hmm. Catherine Timms is all right. Uh, I think we want somebody young, if possible. Lars, you're slow but brainy. I'm not sure if that comes out as being good. Insatiable is quite good. Yeah, Lars, Lars is a pretty good choice. You're also slow, Orlando. Heidi, you're brainy but puny. Heidi would be a good choice, too. Yeah, we'll think about it. Yeah, so the, the trick is we need to make sure to get enough... Uh, uh, let's see. Let's adopt another baby. We're running a little bit thin on people. Especially because a lot of them are kind of old, and so I think they're going to end up dying here in a few years. We got a new territory attack. No! 25% uh, reduction in current research time. Wow, I really should have started building the uh, the lab. Hmm. Newborn baby girl is good. And a young level 4 male alchemist. That could be quite good, too. 